What if I told you that beneath the bustling streets of Paris lies a dark, silent world of death? Imagine a labyrinth, a vast network of tunnels and chambers winding beneath the city of love. This is no mere construction, but a subterranean ossuary, the final resting place for the remains of millions. Above, the city vibrates with life, laughter and light, while below, an eerie quietude reigns broken only by whispers of the past. Welcome to the haunted catacombs of Paris. To understand this world of the dead, we must journey back in time to the late 18th century. At this time, Paris was grappling with a problem that was as real as it was morbid. The city was literally bursting at the seams with the dead. The city's cemeteries were overflowing and something had to be done. In particular, the Les Innocents Cemetery, the oldest in Paris, had been in use for centuries and was so overcrowded that the ground level had risen by over six feet. It was a ticking time bomb and in 1775, the inevitable happened. A cellar adjacent to the cemetery collapsed under the weight of the mass grave, spilling a horrifying mixture of earth and human remains. The incident shocked the city into action. It was clear that a solution was needed and it was found in the form of the city's ancient underground quarries. These subterranean tunnels, which had provided the stone to build Paris, were largely abandoned and forgotten. But they were about to find a new purpose. In 1786, the decision was made. The remains from the city's cemeteries would be exhumed and transferred to the abandoned quarries. The process was slow and painstaking, often carried out at night to avoid distressing the city's inhabitants. It was a monumental task, taking over 12 years to complete. The bones were not simply dumped in the quarries, but arranged in a macabre display that served both as a reminder of mortality and a testament to the practicality of the solution. Skulls and femurs were stacked into walls, with other bones filling the spaces behind. The result was a labyrinth of tunnels lined with the remains of the city's dead. Thus, the catacombs were born, a solution as practical as it was macabre. From a city struggling to accommodate its dead, Paris had created a subterranean city of bones, a chilling monument to the realities of life and death. And so began the story of the catacombs, the world beneath the streets, a world that continues to fascinate and horrify us to this day. Over the years, these abandoned mine tunnels transformed into a city of bones, Indeed, the catacombs of Paris didn't become the chilling ossuary we know today overnight. It was a process that spanned decades, marked by the meticulous arrangement of countless skeletal remains. In the late 18th century, Paris faced a significant issue. The city's cemeteries were overflowing, and the health risks posed by this were becoming increasingly apparent. The decision was made to exhume the bones and move them into the abandoned limestone quarries beneath the city. The process began in earnest, with the bones transported under the cover of night in a procession of carts shrouded in black veils. This eerie parade lasted for years, as the remains of millions were relocated. But the catacombs weren't merely a place to dump bones, they were destined to be something more. The officials in charge decided to arrange the bones in a decorative fashion, creating walls of skulls and femurs, patterns of death that paradoxically breathe new life into these ancient remains. This process was painstaking and meticulous, demanding the utmost reverence for the dead. The sheer number of skeletons interred here is staggering. It's estimated that the bones of over 6 million people rest in these catacombs. To put that into perspective, that's almost three times the current population of Paris. This subterranean city of bones stretches over 200 miles a silent testament to the vastness of human mortality. Over time, the catacombs evolved. They became more than just an ossuary. They became a monument, an eerie reflection of our own mortality. They serve as a stark reminder of the fleeting nature of life and the inevitability of death. And so, the catacombs became a silent witness to the past, a monument to the transience of life. They stand as a testament to the cycle of life and death a physical manifestation of the passage of time and a chilling reminder that we are all, in the end, just bones beneath the earth. Fast forward to the present day and the catacombs have evolved into something more.
what was once a solution to a public health crisis, an underground ossuary that holds the remains of millions, has now become an eerie attraction for those with a taste for the macabre. Today, the catacombs of Paris are a popular tourist destination, drawing crowds from around the globe, all eager to descend into the depths and explore the labyrinth of tunnels filled with human bones. But it's not just the physical remains that capture the imagination. Over the years, the catacombs have become a breeding ground for urban legends and ghost stories. Whispers of the supernatural, tales of ghostly apparitions and eerie sounds echoing through the tunnels have become part and parcel of the catacombs lore. It's as if, in the silence and darkness, the past refuses to stay quiet. These tales have only served to fuel the fascination. The catacombs are more than a final resting place for Parisians of yesteryears. They are a testament to the city's history, a museum of mortality, and a reminder of the impermanence of life. They are also a source of inspiration for artists, writers, and filmmakers who find beauty in the macabre and mystery in the unknown. In recent years, the catacombs have also become a playground for urban explorers, known as cataphiles, who venture off the official tour paths to explore the lesser-known parts of this vast underground network. And so, the catacombs continue to evolve from a practical solution to overcrowding in cemeteries to a site of historical significance, to a hotspot for thrill-seekers and paranormal enthusiasts. They have become a place of fascination, of fear, and of respect for the millions who rest there. The Catacombs of Paris, a place that blurs the line between the living and the dead. But beneath the fascination and the fear lie mysteries that remain unanswered. The Catacombs of Paris, a labyrinth of macabre, hold within their darkened chambers a series of enigmas that have puzzled explorers and historians for centuries. One such riddle is the infamous Lost Man footage, a chilling video found deep within the catacombs showing a man seemingly lost and in panic. The footage ends abruptly and the fate of this man remains a mystery. Despite extensive searches and investigations, no trace of him has ever been found. His identity, his purpose for being there, and what happened to him are questions that are yet to be answered. Then, there are the inexplicable sounds. Many visitors report hearing strange, unidentifiable noises within the catacombs. Some describe it as a low, constant hum. Others as soft whispers echoing off the walls. And yet others as the distant clatter of bones. These sounds, often heard in parts of the catacombs far from any known exit, have no plausible explanation. Are they the result of natural phenomena, the echoes of the city above, or something more sinister? We may never know. There's also a myriad of unexplained phenomena that have been reported over the years. From ghost sightings and inexplicable cold spots to the feeling of being watched or followed, the catacombs continue to be a hotbed for paranormal activity. Skeptics may dismiss these as mere illusions or tricks of the mind, but for those who've experienced them firsthand, they are as real as the bones that line the catacombs' walls. As we emerge from the darkness of the catacombs, we leave behind a world that continues to haunt and intrigue. A world that, despite all our advancements and understanding, still holds on to its secrets, refusing to yield them to the light of day. The catacombs of Paris, a silent testament to our past, continue to be a source of unending fascination, fear and mystery. So what secrets do the catacombs hold that we are yet to uncover? We've delved deep into the tunnels, traced the history back to its roots, and shed light on its transformation into a veritable city of bones. The catacombs today continue to draw intrigue, their unanswered mysteries inspiring both fascination and fear. Yet despite our best efforts to unravel them, the catacombs remain shrouded in enigma. Perhaps the catacombs are a reminder that no matter how much we learn, some mysteries are better left buried.